Welcome to this uh, quick tutorial in how to create a request from a forecast. Let's get started. We clicked on forecast now in the main window and now we are in the main dashboard here. And in the last tutorial I showed you how to create our forecast. And in fact we have two of them here. We can see here on the left on the status we can see they have been approved by document control uh, units. So, um, our job now is to pick it up, the job, and submit it. So let's click on the job number here on the left. Inside the, the actual job here, the details of the job, you can see the job number up here at the top left side of the screen, and it says approved. Now, what we need to do now is to create a document request from this forecast. So let's click here, create document request. First, we get a pop-up uh, box with some information on the forecast and the type of uh, document we are going to submit. So let's just create. We are now back in the wizard, but this wizard is for the request. So it's a little bit different than the forecast. There is two added um, steps. And the first added step is files for processing. This is where you upload the actual document that uh, is being submitted for processing. And number seven here is distribution and output. And then the last one is number eight, summary. So the difference is number six and number seven in the step of the visa. Let's uh, move on. And uh, we are in submitting information and it uh, picked everything up from the forecast. So just uh, let's click next step. The same here in organization and agenda information. Everything has been picked up from our forecast. Let's click next step. In the document requirements, there is a um, small thing you need to fill out and that is the mandate and the mandate URL. This was an XB document, so we could um, we could basically just fill in XB doc because um, mandate and mandate URL is um, a designated for RB documents. So let's just try and see if this works. And now we are in language and services, and there's nothing for us to do here. Everything is picked up from the forecast as well. Submission and schedule. Document disposition. This is a standard document. So let's click next step. And now we're in uh, one of the new steps here. This is files for processing. There's a small uh, cloud icon here on the left side of the screen. So let's click on that. And we get a pop-up box. Select file. And I think I have a file here on the desktop for test purposes. Let's upload it. And now the, the test document has been uploaded. We need to fill in the category that is a mandatory field. So let's put in original submission. It will automatically calculate the word count. And um, in this case here, there's only 222 words, but uh, let's just save it. This is our um, test submission just to show you how it works so we can just click save and now we have um, you know we can see here the document has been uploaded there's a small box here with the details for the upload we can just add this one page and we can go to the next step so this was a, a standard document so let's pick distribution here this is just a general distribution so let's click on general output Full production, it just means that goes to all the steps and is being uploaded to ODS when the process has been finalized. And um, that's basically it in this step here. Let's go to the summary. Now we have filled everything out and in the summary here, we can check if our details are okay. There is one thing we have to do because as you can see down here, it says body type XB. We need to save it as a draft. 
and the reason we need to save it as a draft is because we need to fill in the XP information. So it saved it as a draft. You can see here we have um, request number now 22-10-3-2-8 and what you need to do is click on the finance tab here. So now in the finance tab we need to click you can see up here on the left it says extra body tariff. You need to click on this plus sign here. And when we click on the plus sign, we get a pop-up box. And um, we can just go ahead here, I think. So we need to put in the funding here. I'll choose uh, VBS. Let me just put in a number here. And budget periods. Let me just put in uh, some dates here and valid until and let's save it here. So now we are ready to submit. Um, everything has been done. If we go back to the details page, so all our um, information that we have uh, filled in is there on the file desk we can see our document has been uploaded, submitted, and um, we don't have any notes. So let's just try and submit it now. We don't have any remarks either. And you can see up here, the, the status changed to document requirement review. That means the document is now with document control and you have basically done your job. I hope this was useful. See you in the next DDoC 2.0 tutorial.